Peter from uh, Build a Boeing. How are you all doing? Uh, it's been a long time since I did my last video. By now it is uh, June 2016 and in a few days it will be July and I'm off for Italy, for vacation in Italy. And uh, I thought I'd just give you a quick update on the cockpit uh, before I'm uh, off. Uh, my last video, half a year ago or so, was about my throttle and a lot of you guys have uh, written me asking did I ever finish the throttle, could you have some updates and well honestly no I never finished it. I'll do a separate video on what's been, uh, what I had to redo and what I, what I did wrong uh, but it's not finished yet. Hopefully uh, within the next few days and that will then of course be weeks, months even, I will uh, be able to have a fully working throttle separate video on that but a big thank you to all those of you who've written me asking about the um, updates it's uh, actually quite encouraging getting uh, emails from around the world asking for um, for well questions and for updates thank you keep up the good work it's uh, it's it's very nice apart from the throttle i've been uh, finally painting my uh, eyebrow windows gray that just took me around a year to paint those 16 pieces of wood gray and I've been working on my sound setup, which is placed up here for flying online on Batsim. My uh, my challenge was that I have a headset, but the first ever also has a headset, and then I have microphones here for when not using. Oh, sorry, speakers for when not using a headset. One there and one over there, and so I had to amplify the sound and make uh, separate volume controls for the different outputs. Furthermore, for the inputs. I have two headsets, as I mentioned, and then I have handheld speakers when using uh, uh, handheld microphones for when using the speakers. I can then talk to the ATC using a microphone, handheld. And so I wanted to plug the sound going into the computer so that it wasn't four uh, microphones transmitting at the same time. And the way I've done it is using relays up here. And then when I push the push to talk button here, that relay for this microphone will then be activated and the sound will go into the computer. Um, and then of course I have uh, push to talk buttons for the headsets and that's down here on the pedestal in the audio control panel. That works fine now. Uh, one problem I had, I had to rewire these and uh, in that process I accidentally turned the wires for the microphone the wrong way around and then the sound was very low and mumbling. And I couldn't figure out why until I tried to rewire them so they were opposite of the opposite which will then be the right way and then all of a sudden the sound was loud and clear. So if you're working with microphones just make sure that you don't turn the wires the wrong way around. Apart from that uh, most of my work in the last half year has been on the overhead. By now all uh, switches are working interfaced, uh, all uh, annunciators are working apart from the flight controls, I haven't done that yet, but apart from that all the annunciators they're working, all gauges are working and uh, all displays are working and um, it's actually quite dandy I think. i just show you a few details on the overhead, I have to grab my phone here, never mind the turbulence. Here you can see the aft overhead, just put on the light again there, this is the aft overhead, beautiful backlit uh, gauges. This is the annunciators for the gear, also looking uh, quite good I think. And uh, over here, this is working. right? And up here we have the position panel and you can see I've hardwired an E and an N so that if the aircraft is uh, northern or easterly this will be on. It's just uh, hardwired and then connected to a master card like any other LED and uh, so if this, the way it's done is in ProSim, if this is a positive value, this will be displayed. Oh, sorry, if this is a positive value, this will be displayed. If this is positive, this will be displayed because north and east is positive in ProSim. You can see here, if I turn it over here, they go out because this is a negative value. The only problem is uh, I need to tweak that in SAOC, that the heading is also, of course, a positive value and then the the end is displayed. So I need to, uh, in SOC, make sure that it's only when the switch here is in the position, position, that these will be on. Easy to do. Um, another thing I've done is here you can see there are locks. There's a lock here and there's a lock over there. They're from eBay, four dollars. And they come with a key that looks like this. Right. And I've 
course attach them to a remove before flight key hanger of course I have and um, well I actually had the entire overhead taken out earlier on this year and uh, remounted it using screws down here and on the other side uh, early on when I had to do work on the overhead I had to remove the ceiling here crawl up through a small hole and then put my arm through all the way over and uh, most certainly something would come loose when doing so um, and so I mounted it in, a, in another way just like to show you just have to tilt the phone a bit there we are like that okay so now I can just unlock these here and here and then it tilts down we should like that right so now I can easily access the entire overhead easily work with the wires and do different things and uh, that is just so much easier so if you're going to do a mountain overhead make sure you do it like this because that is so much easier to work with and one last thing i'd just like to show you here on the overhead is my panels normally i've mentioned that i make my panels like this a uh, prototyping board with dupont wires and that works okay but uh, as I said when I had to do work my arm would come across here and something would most definitely come loose that isn't very good so now I'm making them like this you can see here this is hard plastic on the back and then a closed box here so that all wires are inside the box and not uh, in any way able to move when I work on the overhead I'm using DB9 DB15 connectors and that uh, is also a good choice I think because they are very um, well they're, they're tight they're sitting tight they don't come loose easily you of course still have some wires going back and forth here but um, still it's quite easy to uh, to see what is going where so if you're doing an overhead make sure you do it like this and when you finished the work on the overhead you just fold it back like this And of course luck it's there and there and that's it i'm peter from uh, builder boeing you guys have a great summer bye bye